corner again. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the number one boxing show in Ghana. And today we are coming to you from the Bronx Boxing Club right here in the capital. And as you can see, it's a morning week. We are mourning one of the greatest coaches in this country, the late Emmanuel Teiko Tego, aka Coach Akesi, who died last May and will be buried this weekend. Stay tuned. This week, we'll tell you about the date and venue of the big IBF lightweight championship of the world coming up, featuring Ghanaians Richard Obitekomi against Robert G. Star Jr. of the US. We have the date and venue for you. We'll also look at the big fight that took place at the Seconds House in the region right here in Accra last Saturday, featuring Kweu Tyson. He demolished another opponent in four rounds. Then there are some fights coming up in August in this country. First is the WBO Africa Bantamweight Championship. Then we we'll also talk to Abraham Osebonsu. He's another Ghanaian boxer who is going for the WPDF Super Featherweight Intercontinental title against a Colombian boxer in the US in September. Finally, we we'll go abroad where we we'll look at highlights of a fight between a Ghanaian Jasadi who lost in South Africa as well as two undefeated fights that took place in the US on Saturday. First is the super lightweight unification between Terence Crawford and Victor Posto, as well as Oscar Valdez against Matthias Ruda in a featherweight unification unbeaten duel for the WBO featherweight championship of the world. Let's begin by confirming to you the date and venue for the big fight coming up for all Ghanaians later this year in the IBF Lightweight Championship of the World, featuring our own Richard Obite Komi, the Azonto King. His quest for the World Championship is finally at hand. On 9 September in Reading, Pennsylvania, United States of America, Komi will finally step into the ring for a chance to become the World Lightweight IBF Champion. He will face Robert Easter Jr. of the US in the Lightweight Championship, a title that has been vacated by Rancel Bartelli, the Cuban boxer who is undefeated and held the title until two months ago. Remember, Bartelli stepped out, out of the championship to render the title vacant. And the IBF ordered that Komi, who is number three rated, fight number four rated, Robert Easter Jr. And the fight will take place in Reading, Pennsylvania, the United States of America on 9th September. That's less than two months ago. We say good luck to Komi. We back him for our prayers and we hope to hear from him before he finally pass Ghana to the United States for the big fight, the biggest fight of his life. The Street Fight Promotions Bill at the Accra Sports Stadium and he's defending his WBO Africa Bantamweight title against yeah, Yakub Kari, Kari. Yeah. of Nigeria. Yeah. How are you looking forward to that fight? Uh, I'm going there to win because always I'm training and I'm ready to face that guy because it is ready. You can't you can't you can't underrate any opponent, any fighter. Because once he's coming to the ring, you know what he's coming to do. That's why always I'm training to prepare because I don't know the time my enemy will come. So I'm very ready and I'm in a spirit. This will be the first time you'll be fighting back in Ghana after going to the UK to fight as a professional and coming back. How was the experience in the UK and you know how have you adjusted since returning? And you know, what your fans expect? You know, uh, in London, you know, it's different, you know, when you see the environment and you see the people, the kind of people that I'm mingled with and you know it's different from Ghana. And I hopefully uh, I learned a lot from the boxing that I fought. You know, because they are coming to win. And you know, as a soldier, you always have to be ready and fight. And as, as now, I'm training to face Yakubu Karimu. I know Yakubu Karimu is, a, is an, somebody who has fought for, a, um, for Commonwealth title two times. And I know he's, he's, a, he's a tough fighter. So that's, that's why I'm training, I'm working, and I don't, under, I don't want to underrate him. And what I want to say to my fans is, you know, I love them all. And they should come there and keep supporting me because 
that is the hope for Duke Maika, you know, WBO African champion. Yeah, so we heard from Duke Maika, and as we told you earlier, he's fighting the main bout of the night, defending his WBO African Bantamweight Championship against Yakub Karim at the Accra Sports Stadium in a build promoted by Streetwise Promotions, as well as in conjunction with the Bronx Boxing Club, where we are here right now. Okay, the other fight, there, as we told you, the WBO African Bantamweight Championship is the headliner of the Streetwise Promotions bill at the class voting on August. Also fighting that night is Papo Aloti, whom we have here against Abdul Aziz Kwasi. It's a rematch. Yeah. Papo here managed to win the first fight, but Abdul Aziz Kwasi has never accepted the verdict and is coming back for a rematch, vowing to knock our man here out. Papo, what are you preparing for uh, oh, Abdul Aziz? I try, I know Aziz cannot stand on me. I know I'm going, I'm going to win Aziz. My first time when I say the rub and bat, I mean, I mean, I win the fight clear. But this, I will show him that this fight, I will, I will win by knockout. So you have to be clear with that. Right. Now let's look at a big fight that came up at the Second South Division right here in Accra last Saturday night. It was Emmanuel Down, so the boxer nicknamed Kou Tyson. The only boxer to come from the Peru area and bound to bring glory to that part of this country. He earned the nickname Peru Tyson because he started his career with a knockout training that stretched up to 20 fights, knocking opponents out in round one, round two, and living up to the name Tyson. Well, Tyson fought again last Saturday and he demolished his opponent again in four rounds, as you can see from the highlights. After the fight, we got into the corner of Peru Tyson and spoke to his manager. Kwame Ichampong, who is popularly called to be in the Cantonment to business hub of Accra, listening to Peru Tyson's manager. Yes, uh, we are going to uh, wear tattoos. Uh, we are trying to get wear tattoos to fight. So, so, another fight is coming. We can fight again to see how performance meets. I think I could go fight uh, 25th. Yeah, yeah, my tattoos will fight. My tattoos will fight again. Okay. So that fight is good. Another white tattoo. Going forward. Let's next year. Next year, we need white tattoo. I'm sure. So, when we are going to go to the market, we are going to see. 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 Joining us today is Abraham Osei a Ghanaian boxer who is going to fight in the U.S. against Jonathan Perez of Colombia for the WPDF Super Featherweight Intercontinental title. The fight will take place at the Lakeland Event Center in Florida, USA on 17 September. So our man here is preparing towards the fight and we'll hear from him. And when the first time I will be called outside Akoku? We will be called South Africa, Akoku. I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go I'm going to be a part of the team and I'm going to be a part of the team. You see, you're going to be a part of the team and you're going to be a part of the team. You see, I'm going to be a part of the team and I'm going to be a part of the team. Fight you, fight you. I'm a million person. First time fight you, I'm a million. Then from Ragana, it's my wife. So my country is my wife. Now I'm my wife. Now I'm going to get you to on the eight 
Now let's go international and we'll begin in South Africa where Ghanaian Justice Adi was at the receiving end of a third round knockout by Ali Funeka of South Africa in their WBO Africa welterweight title fight. The Ghanaian apparently was clearly overmatched and did not see the whole fight up. The first round, round two, he was on the ropes all of the time. Round three, the referee saw enough and stopped the fight. And that was how Justice Adi came to lose his latest defeat. In the US, it was a clash of the undefeated. There were two fights involving four boxers who were all undefeated. First was the lightweight, super lightweight unification title fight between Terence Crawford of the US and Vitor Posto of Ukraine. Both fighters were undefeated and they had both won all 28 career fights before Saturday night. Posto held the WBC super lightweight title while Crawford held the WBO super lightweight title. They put the two down and Crawford was completely dominant, knocking out his opponent in round five twice and going on to dominate him throughout the fight. Eventually, the judges scored it unanimous in favor of Terence Crawford, who is now being hailed as the next Mayweather. Our show is over again. Remember, we told you it's morning week for Ghana boxing. We are burying the late Emmanuel Taiko Tegu, whom we all call in boxing circles as coach Akesi. He was one of Ghana's most celebrated boxing coaches and until his death was in charge of Emmanuel Tegu, the Game Boy. We say may he rest in perfect peace and we hope you all join us at Bukom Square on Saturday morning where the FINRA will take place for late coach Akesi. Remember, if it's boxing news, Donald's Corner always guide you. Stop it!